for me, it's a hundred percent Steven, the karate boy Thompson. Just to see that fucking level of striking against someone who is foolish enough to try to stand and bang. Yo, your boy Kevin Holland is going to have a one way ticket to Dream World. Nah, you tripping. <laughs> nah, nah, not Kevin Holland. Kevin Holland, he's going to be in there, bro. It's going to be a good fight. And I don't see him getting stopped like that. I really don't. If Steven wins, it's going to be like a point contest. But when I Steven got Kevin wins. Holland. I got Kevin Holland, KO, and Steven Thompson. And then it's Yo, from listen, there for Steven Thompson. listen. You know that you're not supposed to drink the bong water, right? You pour it out. <laughs> hey, that's how I see it happening, bro. I, I be seeing some crazy things in this sport. You can't count anything out. Hey, that's facts. But on some real shit, there's not a chance. For him to stand we'll in bank with Stephen Thompson, it's we'll not going to happen. We'll see, Because this is a, a, I'm pretty confident in this because Kevin Holland's a pretty long, lengthy fighter that's going to stand toe-to-toe with Stephen Thompson. I feel like... I feel like he would try to, like, wrestle and clinch him. But then at the same time, Kevin Holland is the type of nigga that really don't give a fuck. So I feel like he <laughs> would stand in bang and try it. So either way, I'm excited for this one. This one's going to be a, a super dope, fun fight to watch for sure. But, yeah, Kevin Holland taking that W via KO, TKO. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> Dimitri. Yo, what's good? What's good? Yo, I'm telling it just, you. It's laughable. You got to stop. You're going to be heartbroken. You're going to be heartbroken come Saturday when Kevin Holland gets the win. Damn. Listen, this has been a year of heartbreaks already. Fortunately, this won't be one of them. Stephen Thompson can put them hands on him. Kevin, this is, what's, this is how the fight's going to play out. Your boy Kevin's going to try to bang, you know what I'm saying? Think, oh, I got this. And then, bloop, 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 bloop. Once I mean, he becomes a Pez head, you know what I'm saying? He's going to realize he don't want to smoke. <laughs> then going to try to clinch. All right. And then one time he tries to clinch, he's going to take a knee to the face. One, two, three, TKO. That's how you see it? That's how you see it, huh? Big facts. Run it. Bet the house. Listen. Oh, I like the optimism. I like the optimism. <laughs> I feel like you really trying to downplay Kevin Holland. Like, he really don't deserve to be in here fighting. Hey, that's Mr. 2020. Nah. Kevin Holland is Mr. 2020. Hey, don't worry about it. You about to find out. <laughs> you are about to find Listen, out. Listen, about to catch these hands. He's about to catch these hands. I cannot wait. Christmas is going to come early with this fight. Real shit. Listen, let's just talk about some statistics that like, if you just start looking at them objectively, it helps when it comes to who you're leaning towards. So 65% <clears throat> of the time, the younger fighter wins. Who's the younger fighter? Kevin Holland, right? 70% of the time, the person with the longer arm reach wins. Who has a longer arm reach? Kevin Holland. Now, those things, obviously, it's just a percentage, but it puts it into perspective, like, just how things can work out. So, for me, like, just thinking about that, like, when I really start looking at those facts, like, I, I, I got to lean towards Kevin Holland. Kevin Holland been for active, sure. too. That boy stay active. Yes. Ain't no ring, ain't no ring rest with Kevin Holland. Well, I'm going to quote Uncle Chell here on a couple of things. One, reach don't mean shit, right? Because people in MMA, except John Jones, don't know how to use reach. I feel like Kevin has well. gotten better. Well, I feel like Kevin's gotten better with controlling his uh, reach, like being able to use it since he went down to 170. What is the actual reach difference? Uh, six inches. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen <laughs> I wish I knew what six inches looked like <laughs> see on a quick side note you know I'm black and Asian these girls they get this false advertising they see the black drop trowel they get the Asian this man <laughs> it's wild <laughs> just say what about Song Yedong? <laughs> Song Yedong best a name there is so yeah and also ring rust I mean Shout out to uh, Dominic Cruz. Ring rust is not a real thing. Let's not talk about his last fight before you say something. Yes, but at the <laughs> same time, if we just think about Stephen Thompson and then you consider Kevin Holland, Kevin Holland does, like Damien was saying, have the ability to grapple and wrestle here. He may not want to, but if it, if he's getting pieced apart, hey, 
Pride goes out the window. Yeah, but he's not that dominant grappler all of a sudden. Like, he's just going to turn it on. Like, Stephen Thompson, yes, he's been getting grappled down by lifelong grapplers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, Yeah, I don't think Kevin Holland would have that control time or anything, but I feel like it would gas him out, gas Thompson out. He won't be as light on his feet. He won't be moving as much. I don't know, man. I just see Kevin Hart. I mean, Kevin Holland shooting up. You can see up the little ass Kevin Hart. I see Kevin Holland shooting up the rankings, man. He is a dark horse in the division. People are counting him out. Where does Kevin like, Holland especially succeed? That last fight. In this fight, where hmm? do you think Kevin Holland succeeds? I think he succeeds with the hands. I think he's going to, I think his hands are going to outbox Stephen Wonderboy's kicking. I Go ahead. I can see that you're just <laughs> fuming. Please just. Yeah, I think he's just going to have to walk him down, put Steven against the cage, and start with the pepper end of the punches. That's what I was going to say. I don't want to see Kevin Holland out in the open with range because that's where Steven Thompson is just elite with having room to be able to move around. And But I think Kevin, I think his success will be in the clinch, like up against the cage, um, trying mm. to, you know, because I... I it's just hard for me to be able like if Kevin Holland goes out there and like outstrikes Stephen Thompson. That'd be nuts. <laughs> <laughs> just like you know, it also be nuts. Like, point like, like it'd be crazy if, if I like won the lottery tonight. Like that'd be crazy. That'd be nuts. Stop it. Y- y'all y'all are speaking on Kevin Holland like like he's just about to ragdog Stephen Thompson. Like he's not a clinch fighter. No, I don't think he's going to ragdoll him, but I think he is going to get the TKO or KO. I yeah. think that is going to happen. Many I don't mistakes. think that he's a clinch fighter, but there has to be a game. Like, these are the things that I would see that they would need to add with to their game plan. Going out and standing in the middle and banging with Steven Thompson is not a part of the game plan. And if it is, you're going to get fucked up. <laughs> Straight mm-hmm. up. That can't be a part of the game plan. I think for me, the biggest thing I just think about is just like, how many ways do you have to win the fight? Kevin Holland is not about to just grapple and wrestle and take down Stephen Thompson. That's not in his repertoire. Oh, stop it. It might not be, but you could be surprised. <laughs> you yeah. could be surprised. He could he could do some what? standing guillotine type shit. He could maybe he could do a little tie trip or some shit. Like I don't know, I don't see him doing that stuff. But in the MMA, bro, I don't count nothing out these days. For real, for we'll real. We'll see what's up with it. <laughs>